This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Good morning. I'm Aaron Haywood, and I'm here with Gary Hames from uh, Port City Silver and Gold. How are you doing this morning, Gary? I'm great. Fantastic. I know it's the new year. You've got a lot of stuff coming into your store. Really busy. Um, you've got some flatware and some napkin rings. Tell us a little bit about these. Yeah, I brought just a couple of examples just to illustrate the difference between the silver content and the actual amounts that we're able to pay sometimes. Mm -hmm. Something like a napkin ring, for whatever reason, they're really collectible. A lot right. of people are into those. A lot of times, even though there's not much silver in them, I'm able to pay more because we're able to sell those for more. You know, the next little pile of spoons here, those are what called coin silver. In the 19th century in the South, you know, you could buy silver from New York or Boston or Philadelphia, but a lot of times if you're in, you know, Birmingham, that's right. a long trip. So there were itinerant silversmiths that would go around in the South and they would melt U.S. coin, 90% U.S. coin, into molds and make people flatware out of it like on the spot instead of having to buy these manufactured spoons. And a lot of them got to be famous silversmiths, and certain ones can be worth a lot for the name that's on the back, who made it, okay. and their antique value. And what about the flatware? I know this is right. a unique set. Exactly. This is a sort of plain-looking manufactured flatware. Right. And you see this, and you're thinking, okay, it's just going to be worth the silver content, which, of course, it always is. But this particular set, you flip it over, it turns out it's made by Tiffany. So oh, in wow. a case like that, we're able to do a little bit more. And, of course, we have the coins. Explain those silver dollars you have. Well, yeah, I brought some uh, Morgan silver dollars in, mostly Morgan silver dollars today. And uh, they were made from 1878 to 1921. We basically we struck uh, silver in the in the uh, Nevada uh, the Comstock load, right? And they had uh, guys in Congress that got these bills passed. We're going to make all these silver dollars and sell it directly to the government. And some of them are worth just their silver content, but the rare ones could be you know they're Morgan silver dollars that are a quarter million bucks. Okay. And of course you have your gold, your earrings that might be a little bit more. Yeah. The, the really yellow ones there are 22 karat gold. Just a point to illustrate it's not always about the size. The you know, purity gotcha. is more important. Okay. For more information, visit portcitysilverandgold.com. This has been a WECT Business Break.